Olivia and I'm at the seaside to celebrate World Ocean Day. Together we're going to learn about our oceans so that we can protect them and help keep them clean. Did you know that our world is covered in more ocean than it is land? Whoa! That is a lot of water. Oceans are really important because some of the food that we eat comes from the ocean and there's food in there for other animals too. We can enjoy really fun hobbies like snorkeling, swimming, surfing and my favourite, paddling! Oh, oh, oh. Now let's explore how we can become ocean protectors. Together we can help protect our oceans. Did you know every drain leads to the ocean? There are drains everywhere, at your school and in your home. The biggest drain in our homes is the toilet, so we need to be very careful what we put down there. You don't need to have superpowers to save the ocean and be an ocean protector. You can help from your toilet at home. Ocean protector rule number one. Only flush the three peas down the toilet. Pee, poo <laughs> and toilet paper. Hey, never flush wipes like these down the toilet. They're made of plastic, so when you flush them, they don't break down. Let's join some milkshakers and find out how these little things can cause so much damage. We are going to put some toilet roll in jar one and a wipe in jar two. And we're going to give them a really big shake, just like when we flush our toilet. The toilet paper has turned to mush. The wet wipe has stayed whole. Next, they try and flush them through a funnel. This funnel is like our pipes at home. The toilet paper goes straight through. But, oh no, the wipe gets stuck. If we put wipes down our toilet, they can get stuck and they can overflow into the ocean. When we are going to the toilet, what do you think we should put down? <laughs> well done, milkshakers. If you live near the beach or you like to visit the beach, then you must always remember that this is the home to lots of different sea creatures and we must look after them. So, ocean protector rule number two is to be a friend of the sea. If you pick up a rock to have a little look underneath it, remember you must always put it back when you are finished. There might be a tiny sea creature that lives underneath here. Oh, wow, look, a sea snail. Look at it, stuck to the rock. Oh, but I shouldn't move it. I should leave it there because this rock is its home. All sea life, no matter how big or small, plays a massive part in keeping our oceans healthy. Smaller creatures are food for larger ones and sea plants are homes for sea creatures. There is another way to be a friend of the sea. Let's go and meet some milkshakers and find out how. These milkshakers are doing a beach cleanup. Their gloves are on and they're using grabbers to pick up litter. There's all kinds of rubbish on the beach. In the bin bag it goes. Did you know even litter dropped in cities miles away from the seaside can make its way into the drains and end up on our beaches? And that's really bad for the sea life. So, to be a friend of the sea, we should always put our rubbish in the bin or take it home and recycle it. Maybe you could use a grabber and do a beach clean with your adult. I love eating fish and chips as a yummy treat at the beach. Thank you so much. <laughs> now, another way we can help protect our oceans is to think about the seafood we eat and where it comes from. Now, most of our fish comes from the ocean, but some fish is actually becoming extinct. That means it's running out, but you can help. Ocean protector rule number three. Look for the blue logo. This tells us that the fishermen have left enough fish behind so it won't run out. So, remember to look for this logo when you're out shopping with a grown-up. Oh, I've had such a brilliant day learning all about our oceans and how we can protect them. Can you remember the three ways that you can become an ocean protector? Number one, only flush the three P's. P, P, 
two. <laughs> I'm vapor. Number two, be a friend of the sea. Remember to always look after sea creatures' homes and take home your litter and recycle it. And number three, look out for that blue logo when you're out shopping. And if you've been protecting the ocean, we'd love to hear from you. Send your emails to milkshake at milkshake.tv. I'll see you soon.